How Palestinian Leaders, Not Israel, Have Ruined the Opportunity to Create a Palestinian State. Israel is often blamed for preventing the creation of a Palestinian state, but this claim is false. Throughout the years, there have been many efforts by Israel to create a Palestinian state. In 2000 and 2001, Israeli Prime Minister Ehud Barak negotiated with Palestinian President Yasser Arafat to create a Palestinian state. Barak's first offer of a state at the Camp David Peace Summit in July 2000 included 95% of the West Bank, all of Gaza, and a capital in East Jerusalem. Arafat said, no. In January 2001, Barak increased the offer, but Arafat still said no. US President Bill Clinton said the deal was so good that he couldn't believe anyone would be so foolish enough to turn it down. Saudi Arabia's US Ambassador Prince Bandar said that Arafat's failure to accept it was a tragic mistake, a crime really. Then, in 2008, Israeli PM Ehud Olmert offered an even better deal to Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas, which included all of Gaza and the equivalent of 100% of the West Bank. Olmert told Abbas not to miss the opportunity. Israeli TV reporter Raviv Drucker asked Abbas in 2015, in the map that Olmert presented you, Israel would annex 6.3% of the West Bank and compensate the Palestinians with 5.8%, taken from pre-67 Israel. What did you propose in return? I did not agree. I rejected it out of hand. Mahmoud Abbas. <laughs> U.S. Secretary of State at the time, Condoleezza Rice, said if Abbas had agreed, it would have been a turning point in the long history of the intractable conflict. In 2013-14, President Barack Obama tried to advance efforts towards peace through creating an agreed framework for a two-state peace. But, once again, Abbas walked away from negotiations, not even responding to Obama's proposal, something which dismayed US Secretary of State John Kerry. The Palestinians never even responded to President Obama on his offer. I was also dismayed that, for all I'd done over the years to build trust with Abbas, he'd avoided the kind of final conversation we deserved. From John Kerry's memoir on how Abbas walked away from peace talks in April 2014. US Middle East Peace Envoy Martin Indyk on the 2014 peace talks. Israeli PM Benjamin Netanyahu moved to the zone of possible agreement. I saw him sweating bullets to find a way to reach an agreement. We tried to get Abbas to the zone of possible agreement, but we were surprised to learn he had shut down. Most recently, in 2020, President Donald Trump announced yet another Middle East peace plan that included the establishment of a Palestinian state. But in a now familiar pattern, Abbas boycotted the process and then rejected the plan while Israel agreed. In fact, since 2014, Abbas has rejected all invitations to participate in any peace talks, proving that it is Palestinian leaders, not Israeli ones, who refuse to advance the cause of peace. <laughs>